I'm going to show you one of my top trading systems that uses artificial intelligence or adaptability. It has been trained in in sample and out of sample. It was released three years ago. Same strategy from three years ago. It's adaptive moving average and it automatically adjusts its look back period based on the market environment. Let's take a look at this strategy. And it's done extremely well in this market environment. If you take a look here, here are the results in Ninja Trader without slippage in commission. You have $128 average trade profit. This trades the E mini SP during the day session only. It exits before the close. So it's a day trade strategy for the E mini SP. Works in TradeStation, Ninja Trader, and multi charts. And you can look back at my YouTube channel. You can see the release of Adaptive Moving Average in March of 2019. And this is what it's done since that time. It's gone through drawdowns and it goes through winning streaks and losing streaks. No strategy is perfect regardless of the technology used. And you can see it's going through a losing day to day. But here is the equity curve and the results for this strategy in NinjaTrader 8. And let's take a look at this strategy in TradeStation. So here's the strategy in TradeStation. It's taking the same trades today uh, that you see it just flipped to the short side. And you can see very similar trades, really nice short trades back on 421, 422, a long trade on 425. Let's look back at NinjaTrader once again on 421. Let's drag this over. 421, you see a long and then a short. Then on 422, you see a short trade. Then on 425, you see a short trade, then a long trade. And let's look at it in TradeStation. Same thing, 421, a long trade, then a short trade, a short trade on 422. And a few more extra trades in TradeStation. These don't match up exactly, and the results in NinjaTrader are slightly better. The way it works, it takes less, slightly less trades based on the programming language. And so... I showed you the results in NinjaTrader without slippage and commission. Here it is in TradeStation with $25. Round turn slippage and commission, $76. Average trade profit, $30,000 drawdown. And this drawdown is much sharper here in TradeStation. One of the things I'm going to do when I compare these strategies is to see why there is some programming differences. So maybe I can improve the TradeStation version based on the programmatic differences between TradeStation and NinjaTrader. So going back five years, if you take out $25 slippage and commission, you still have 103 average trade profit. And the drawdown is 15,000 instead of 30,000. So slightly better performance. That steep drawdown we saw in TradeStation is not as steep in NinjaTrader and it's taking less trades here. So you see less trades on a monthly basis. The benefit of multiple platforms is understanding programmatic differences and so some of those programmatic differences reveal new trading opportunities and trading rules. So for example in December of 2020 there were only nine trades in minus 175 in NinjaTrader and in TradeStation December had 35 trades 8,025 minus 8,025 dollars. So big difference in December of 2020. And so we'll be taking a look, closer look at that to, to determine the differences. There's ways to improve the TradeStation version to more closely match the NinjaTrader version. If we look at the um, annual profits for 2022, 47, 8, 12, 50 in TradeStation. And that is with $25 round turn slippage and commission. I'm showing an average trade profit of $173. In NinjaTrader, the net profit is $51, $537.50 with an average trade profit of $192.30. The total number of trades is 268 versus 275. So there's seven trades more in TradeStation. And if you take out $25 round turn slippage and commission, you're at 167 versus TradeStation's 173. Really robust average trade profits every year in this setup. And so you can look at this incrementally and see the statistics on different time frames. You can go yearly, it's less incremental. The equity curve is less incremental. You can go by trades, which is more incremental. You can go daily, you can go weekly, 
you can go monthly and you can go yearly so there's more data points in the trades and so you can see that so you might want to use the most incremental measurement so wanted to share that with you one more thing I want to share with you is how to set this up in the micros on Ninja Trader you can also set it up in the micros on the e mini on the on trade station and this also works in multi charts multi charts results are similar to trade station so the way you change this in in uh, Ninja Trader is you change the symbol to MES0622 and you change the inputs uh, for the stop loss and profit target to one tenth of the value. You can see the results here 158,600. I would say divide by 10, but the micro data, this is testing back to 2017, and the micro data does not go back that far. Micro data started in about 2019, so it will not be, it'll be roughly one tenth. So let's take a look here. Let's change the data to MES0622. So we changed the data, we haven't changed the parameters yet. Let's take a look at the results. The results are still based on the E-mini. So 13, 4, 18, 75. The drawdown is 14.6750. And so this is this uh, you can you can scale your risk based on this drawdown by multiplying by the number of micros and then seeing what your potential profit or return would be by multiplying there as well. So let's take a look at changing these the uh, input settings on this, strategies. And then you want to come in here and you can change, you, you need to turn the strategy off to adjust the parameters by disabling it. And then you come in here and you change the stop loss to um, 200 instead of 1000 so that's the only input parameter that would change is the stop loss to one tenth of the size since the contract of the micro is one tenth the size of the e-mini then you enable it and apply it so once you have that that put in 13720 and your stop loss is 200 we set back to 117 let's look at the equity curve um, the data only goes back let's look at the annual data so only to 2019 because the data for the micros does not start until 2019 and in 2019 it was still fairly illiquid as more traders began to uh, start trading the micros just like any new contract it's not actively traded at first so when you're back testing micros sometimes you need to back test if you want to go on a further back test you can back test the e-mini and divide by 10 that's what we do in our portfolio calculator because we test all the way back to 2008 and micro data is obviously has become more liquid since 2021 and it started in 2019 so wanted to share with you an artificial intelligence adaptive moving average trading system for trade station ninja trader and multi charts the in sample out of sample sample training period and test period you can see all that in this in this performance summary and how you know it's done it's done well in this environment it's actually accelerated in its equity curve based on the type of environment that we are in hey david bean here welcome to capstone trading systems youtube page be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders we are real money traders we share our winning streaks we share our losing streaks as well as market updates strategies and coding tips